Hey everyone, my name is Evan Tauscher and today I'm going to be introducing you to some of the really special techniques that make the guitar such an intimate, magical instrument. Now we all know the guitar makes it sound acoustically, but you know, within this wooden instrument that's not connected to any effects or anything, we've got a ton of different effects that we can make just with our hands. So whether that's going dark or bright, or doing pizzicato or the tremolo technique, we're going to be exploring quite a few of those today, and we're going to be just learning what the extent of our instrument is. You know, what are the different sounds that we can access? So I'm going to be going over a few of those techniques. Uh, maybe some of them you've heard before, maybe some of them you haven't, but let's go ahead and jump into that first technique. First up is pizzicato. Pizzicato is a technique that we borrow from the other string instruments, you know, like violin, cello, and bass. Now, when they pluck with a single finger on their instruments, it makes a really short sound, because typically they need a bow to keep that note sustained. Well, for us, when we pluck a single note on the guitar, it sustains. So we sort of mimic this technique that other string instruments use by placing our palm down here at the bridge, or for those of you that play other styles, it's like palm muting. It's very similar in a way. Except we're going to be using our thumb, right? Not a pick. So what I do is I actually rest my right hand over here on the bridge, and then I roll my hand over like this to where my thumb is coming closer to the soundboard of the guitar so that I'm not muting too much of the string. If I do this technique and I start on the string, it'll sound like this. You hear almost no pitch. One of the things you'll notice here is I'm not actually plucking with my thumbnail. I'm plucking really in the center of the flesh of my thumb. So I'm moving the string as much as possible, trying to pluck it as loud as possible really, because if I don't pluck it loud enough, you can hardly hear the effect. So I'm just outlining a G major chord here. You can experiment with just those first three notes. G, B, D, it's the third fret, the second fret of the fifth string, and then the fifth fret of the fifth string. But if you want to take it up, you can try it out on all of those notes. Next up is tremolo. Tremolo is such an awesome, enchanting sound that the guitar can make. That's a huge part of its history. There's a lot of compositions written exclusively with tremolo and some that just use tremolo as an expressive technique. So what is the technique of tremolo? Now you might be familiar if you play electric guitar of like the tremolo effect or tremolo in an orchestra, a repeated note really quickly. And that is part of the tremolo technique on guitar. We have a repeat note, like in that example I just played you, we have that high E, the 12th fret repeated. You'll see that I'm playing my ring, middle, then index, and these are repeating each time, right? But it's an illusion I'm creating here that these are actually continuing. They're not. My thumb is going between each of those sets of three right hand motions. So I'm going thumb, ring, middle, index. Thumb, ring, middle, index. So when I play tremolo slowly, you can clearly hear that there's three notes on that top line followed by a thumb stroke, right? But as you speed up, it creates this illusion that that top line is sustained. So actually, it's this illusion that we're after, that we have two lines going at once, and it makes it such a cool technique to use because you can basically play any chord and create a melody out of it that sounds like two instruments are playing. So here's a few basics on how to get started with this technique. Let's just pick two notes. With our thumb in our right hand, we're gonna play this E on the ninth fret of the third string, and then this E on the 12th fret of the first string. What I'm gonna do is first pluck my thumb. Immediately after, I'm gonna set my ring finger down on the first string, and I'm gonna pluck that. And then I'm going to pluck my middle finger, and then I'm gonna pluck my index finger. And then I'm going to come back and replant my thumb on that third string, All right? So we're gonna go thumb, ring, middle, index. And you'll notice that I'm preparing each finger on the string before I actually play so that I'm making this as efficient as possible. There's no excess time between each one of these notes. That way, when I start speeding up, my hands are efficiently moving and not flying out wildly, right? Okay, I hope that gives you a good start to tremolo. Let's go ahead on to the next technique.
Next up is artificial harmonics. Now this is not a technique exclusive to the classical guitar, but we do find a lot of passages in the classical guitar repertoire where we use artificial harmonics while playing a bass line. Similar to natural harmonics, we're going to be finding places on the string that work with the overtone series, whether that's the octaves or elsewhere, and we're going to be making that sound. We're going to be touching with our finger right on the metal fret. Now that doesn't mean I'm going to press the string down to the metal fret. I'm just going to be touching where the metal fret is. The easiest one to produce is here at the 12th fret. And actually, if I miss that metal fret and I play here, it's very quiet. If I get right on top of it, it sounds really clearly. So what am I doing in the right hand? Well, there's a lot of different ways to do it. But what I really prefer to do is touch with my index finger right at that 12th fret, right? I'm right on top of that metal fret. And then I'm touching that with my index finger. And then with my ring finger, I am plucking the string as far away from that other finger as possible. Because if I pluck it really close, I can't really move the string that much. Watch this. I'm actually going to spread as far away as possible so that I can get a really good sound. Right? You'll notice the further away I get, the more clear that sound gets. Another simple way you can practice these artificial harmonics is similar to how we practice it with tremolo, is through a simple little scale, right? To create a nice melody. If this creates an E right at the 12th fret, if I fret on the first fret here of the first string, that's going to create an F. Now, if I try to do the harmonic in that same spot on the 12th fret, I'm going to get no sound. So I actually have to move it up to where there's a perfect 12 frets from there. So instead of playing on the 12th fret here with my first finger and the right hand, I'm going to move to the 13th. So I'm going to play E, F, G, F, E. I hope that gives you a nice start to artificial harmonics. And let's go ahead and go on to the next technique. Okay, last up is rasciato. Rasciato is a technique that you hear primarily in flamenco music, but in a lot of Spanish guitar music as well. And it's basically the technique of running your nails through the strings in the opposite direction than usual. And it creates this percussive kind of sound, right? A much more aggressive sound. If you do it with a chord, it sounds like this. Instead of... So, how do we get a realistic start to rasciato so we can begin to practice it? Okay, maybe the easiest thing we can start with here is just going down with our middle finger and then back up with our thumb. Now, notice I'm not doing this. I'm not moving my arm here. I'm just turning my wrist like it's a doorknob that I'm opening, right? I like to imagine that. So it's my wrist turning here. It's not my arm going up and down. Otherwise, I would have to really throw my arm back and forth in order to get it fast enough. So I'm doing this. If you add a chord like an E major, it sounds like this. And you can get it quite fast, even just doing a simple up-down motion. Another way you can practice this is just with your index finger. So you're going to flick with your index and come back up with your index as well. You'll see that gets strong, weak, strong, weak, strong, weak, strong. And you can do that with less strings as well, just the top few. Another pattern you can do is a simple triplet pattern where you go up with your thumb, down with your ring, down with your index, and when you go down with your index, you also twist that doorknob, right? So that your thumb is back here at the bottom, and then you come back up with your thumb. So it's one, two, three, four, three, four. Okay, so those are some of the techniques of the classical guitar that really make it special. I really hope you enjoy practicing these, and I'll see you in the next video.